So my Flat Earth friends messaged me and say, Mark, you got to do a video on the curve and explain how it works. And I said, easy. Let's cover the basics. If you believe in the globe and you believe in the curve, and by that I mean the invisible shape that can only be seen from space, but how is it measured? I hate math, you hate math. Why learn it if you have cell phones? The math behind the curve, see what I did there, is simple. For your visible range, it's 8 inches per mile per mile or 8 inches per mile squared. And you say, Mark, get bent. That's math. Fine, I'll do it for you. At 10 miles, the curve is 10 times 10 times 8, so 800. Easy, right? No, because right now you're thinking stairs. It's not stairs. It gets more exaggerated the further you go. At 50 miles, it's way more than you think. It's 50 times 50 times 8, which is pushing 1,700 feet, and that means on a calm day, any object shorter than that should be behind the curve. See what I did twice? The trolls say it's a mirage or Fata Morgana or looming, but check out these oil rigs from the beach in California. No curve in front of the rigs, and more importantly, no curve on the distant horizon. Wait a minute, how could there be a horizon behind the oil rigs when the curve should have blocked everything from the front? The curve is a brainwashing myth. The reason you can see behind the curve is because it's not there. It's flat. Go down the rabbit hole and find out for yourself, or don't. Whatever. I'm done.